Okay, let's answer a few questions about a linear revenue function. So linear means a line, right? So we have r of x equals 45.77x in dollars. We want to know, first of all, what's the slope of this line? So let's go back to what we know about linear functions. We can think like y equals mx plus b. So in this case, we don't have a b. We could say like plus 0 at the end. But m is our slope in this. So we could say 45.77 is the slope of this linear revenue function. So what's the marginal revenue? Well, this is where it comes in handy to remember marginal, whenever you see that, means the same thing as derivative. All right, now this graph is the graph of a line, right? It's got a slope of 45.77. And derivative means the same thing as the slope of tangent lines to the graph. So if I were to draw in all the tangent lines to this graph, no matter where we're at, they all have the exact same slope. So, therefore, the marginal revenue is going to be the same thing as the slope of this line, of this linear function. So we can answer that with 45.77 for the marginal revenue. So what's the revenue of selling one more item if 54 are currently being sold? Well, the marginal revenue always means the same thing as the uh, <laughs> the revenue for selling one more item. So this is consistent. It doesn't change. It's not much of a function here. It's always the exact same. So in this case, for, uh, if you're selling 54 currently, that 55th is also going to be 45.77. What's the revenue of selling one more item if 180 are currently being sold? Well, that 181st is going to be consistent, right? This is linear. It's also going to be 45.77. Feels like a trick question, kind of, but it's not, all right? They're all the exact same answer. Good luck on this.